Hey, this is Timo Buske and you are watching Bit Photo Tutorials. Today I'm going to tune a landscape snapshot. Lit Photo Tutorials. Okay, I opened up my RAW file here in Capture One, and as you can see, it's really not the best quality. I took this image with my uh, small and RX100 Mark V, and as you can see, it's um, yeah. We need to add some sharpness here, and there is already some noise we need to remove. But yeah, let's just go for it. Um, first thing. I would like to change is remove and crop away all those disturbing elements here. So I'm grabbing the crop tool, go for a panoramic format like 2i1 and just crop away first the sign on the right side and the tree on the left side. Um, yeah, the small, small part um, of the lamp here we can uh, remove with an adjustment layer later. We don't need to waste uh, this part of the image here for this small um, part here. Okay, um, somehow I think we should flip this in this case because we start to watch from the left side and um, there are not much highlights in this image. So maybe this hill here is one visual point where the user stops to um, watch the image and if we go for horizontal flip um, this is more like we can read the image from left to right nothing happens and we stop at the hill here and so I think we have a better impression of the entire image if we flip this horizontally so next thing I want to do is I'm um, I want to retouch this element here, so I'm creating a clone layer as a basis. So I'm always starting with a clone layer because this is um, faster to compute. And later if we like the result we can switch to healing layer uh, to adapt uh, the surrounding areas here. Okay, so I'm grabbing the brush tool, maybe a little smaller. And I'm going to paint away this piece here. Okay. I grab the new um, area from the right side. And now I'm switching to healing layer. So it adjusts the brightness of the surrounding area. This is pretty good. Maybe it's, yeah, that's, that's okay. Okay. Um, now comes the standard workflow. I switch back to background layer to change the entire image and I desaturate completely and focus on the light. Um, actually, uh, I don't want to change too much here. I like the foggy mood, so um, I'm just increasing the contrast a bit because I think the image is really flat here. And um, yeah, I, th I mean, you could do more, but um, actually for this image, I like it uh, as it is. So don't uh, let's uh, change any more of the lighting here. Uh, so let's focus on the sharpening, sharpness. Um, first thing I want to add a little structure here, maybe around 60-ish or so. We already, already see the noise coming in here um, and let's do the standard workflow for sharpness, radius to minimum and amount to maximum and we slowly increase the radius until uh, the halo gets too big. I think we can Go for one here and put it back a little on the amount. Let's zoom out. For my taste this still feels a bit too blurry so I will increase it and I'm going to live with the fact that when I zoom in there is a little halo but um, 
I like this impression from when you zoom out a little. So let's go for almost maximum here. But we really, uh, we really need to remove the noise. So I use the noise reduction tool here and increase uh, the luminance value to maximum and slowly re uh, reduces reduce it until the noise comes back, which is actually already at something like 1995. So I will leave it at a very high value in this case. But this looks pretty good. Okay, next thing we are going to do is uh, add some color. Um, I don't want to add too much here, um, maybe around half of the scale here, around negative 50 or so. And what I'm going to do here is now um, make the colors much colder. Um, so we put a focus on this um, foggy mood here. Okay, let's cool this down. I'm going to go for a value like 4.3k. I leave the tint, let's check. Yeah, the green version is also very nice, but I think I leave this at the default value. <coughs> and now let's add some local adjustment layers. Um, first of all, um, I would like, or what I don't like at the image is those holes in the clouds here because I would rather prefer that you don't know what's behind those and um, remove uh, the mountains you can see here. So let's add another clone layer and I'm grabbing a bigger brush and paint those mountains away. Okay. I'm getting the stuff from below. As you can see, we have a border here because the, <clears throat> the area is not adapted to the surrounding areas, but we can do this with a healing layer. Now it looks pretty good. And uh, we can maybe do some light adjustments. Uh, I think we have <clears throat> two possibilities for the trees at the bottom. We can either make them completely black uh, or we can uh, brighten them up a bit. I think I will try to do the second um, approach, brighten them up. So I'm creating a new adjustment layer and I'm drawing a small gradient here. And let's say we increase the exposure to about one point something. Just around one. This is pretty good. Okay, um, another uh, part of the image I find pretty interesting is uh, this cloud strip here in the middle. So what I'm uh, going to do is put a focus on this part by um, brightening this up. So I'm creating another adjustment layer grabbing a medium-sized brush and create a mask over this part. Okay, let's also brighten this up by around one or so. And I think we could have a little modulation in the sky here as well, so I'm uh, create another local, local adjustment layer and um, I grab a larger brush and draw parallel to this strip of clouds here another mask. Just like this. And let's brighten this up also by around, I don't know, maybe one or so. Okay, last thing I want to do. I want globally uh, to optimize the contrast a bit. So what I'm missing here is um, 
Yeah. The shadows, so let's bring them back with the levels tool. This is maybe a little too much, but around 10-ish. Okay, I don't want to go too crazy here because um, as soon as we increase the contrast, uh, we lose a little of this foggy mood and I really want to keep this. And this is also the reason why I don't want to recover the highlights too much. Let's try. I don't think that this gives us um, um, something, so I think I even will leave this at default and uh, I call it a day. So let's uh, do the before-after comparison. Before, after, I think we can leave it as it is. It's really, yeah, nice foggy mood we get, got here and we added some value to the picture. Okay, I hope you liked the video and thanks for watching. Lit Photo Tutorials. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Please support me by subscribing for more videos, spread this out to all your friends, like and comment. And of course, if you want to watch me blittifying one of your raw files, please upload it somewhere and send me a link to blit at timobuske.de. I will put everything you need to know into the description. Stay tuned and keep watching.